Hi there. I'm here to give you a very quick preview of the Winter Wonderland preset collection. So with this collection, you have nine all-in-one creative looks that you can pick to choose, you know, pick which one works best for your image. Then you have some hazes and blurs. You can dull the greens, like dull out the grass or the trees. And then you have eight horizontal snows if your picture is horizontal uh, or eight vertical snows in case your image is a portrait orientation vertical orientation so I'm gonna just go through and do um, one one or two looks so this is winter light just a nice crisp light there I might want to add a little bit of haze to it just a little bit maybe actually I'm gonna back off of that because I, I want it I liked it with before it so I did control Z and, and there's no greens to dull out, so I'm going to come down, and I'm just going to start clicking. So this is Snow Flurries 1, or we could do Mixed Snow here. So as you see, the, the snow looks will change, and it's not one size fits all, so you kind of just click, see which one works best. Snow Flurries 2, I really like that one too. Now with, let's just say we, we you can go keep going down the line here, um, but that was a good example, maybe this one too. Uh, we've got some snow here that we don't want, so how do you get rid of that? And to take care of that, because that's you know pretty important when you're working with these snows, you'll be able to take snow off of areas that you don't want it. So you click on the radial filter. This only works in Lightroom 5. Okay, so these presets, period, only work in Lightroom 5. And you click on the radial filter, which is next to the brush, and then come down in here and just click on the one you want to remove and then hit delete. If you're not seeing the pins, you come down to show edit pins and make sure that you have auto or always selected. And then we can come in here and just delete the ones we don't want. Like that. Now, you can also add some snow in by clicking the brush. Once you have uh, installed the brushes, we've got three different snow looks you could go for. So snow one, and make sure your feather's pretty high and got the flow high. And now I can just click where I would want to snow. And if I want some small snow, I just make my brush smaller. Let's see, I can just click around and add in snow wherever I want it. Or if I just want some hazy, big spots like that, kind of where it's blurry and just fuzzy, I could do that. And that is how you add snow with the presets and with the brushes. And I really have had a lot of fun with this set, and I hope you do too.